Good morning and welcome to the Rolls of Monmouth. This is a special treat for me. I haven't got it on the tripod at the moment, so it will be bouncing around a little bit. Right, Rolls of Monmouth. Why is it called that? Well, it's near Monmouth, but it's a long way from civilization. It's way out in the sticks. You can't hear anything except for the early morning greenkeepers. It's about 10 to 7 and I'm dew sweeping. The Rolls bit, well, this is where Mr. Rolls used to make some cars. And um, he had a friend called Mr. Royce. So this place is rather special. The mansion house that you've just seen, uh, that dates back to the 1700s. Uh, a, a duke of something or an earl of the other. I, I don't know which. It's not important. The important bit is this place used to have a couple of touring pros. One of them was a guy called Tony Jacklin. And the other one was this uh, big blonde Australian bloke called Greg Norman. Yeah, in his journey from Australia to America, he stopped off on the European tour for, I don't know whether it was a year or a couple of years or even three years, don't know, but he was based here. This is where he played his uh, recreational and practice golf. And he says that the par threes on this course are fantastic. Got the ninth green behind me, front right flag. Familiar spot, because it's easy to putt to. Although there aren't any easy putts around here. This place is gonna beat me up. Great thing about coming early is the golf course is covered in deer at the moment. Uh, no doubt they will uh, disappear. And look, the sun's coming out, it's fantastic. See you on the first tee in about an hour. Yeah, I'm that early, but wouldn't you come early to look around here? This is brilliant, and it's 43 pounds, so it's not even expensive. Right, just a little warm up in the net there. My neck's stiff this morning, so not sure I'm gonna be hitting the ball very well. Right, 6,280 yards. I get five shots and I fully expect to be nine or even 10 over par. This place deserves your respect. First hole, gentle kind of like start, 376. Slightly uphill, slightly dog leg to the right. And it's changed. I haven't been here for a few years and obviously some of the big old oak trees have come down so it looks completely different to me. Go over the brow of the hill, slight dog leg to the right and then the green sits at a funny angle to you so um, got to be a little bit careful with your second shot. We'll get going in about 10 minutes when my tea time comes around. See you in a mo. Right, number two is back the way we came, up the hill and then down the other side. The green is protected by three bunkers and the fairway by a number of very large trees.
Now, if I was fit, I'd hit a three wood up here, but uh, my swing speed is quite slow, so had to be the driver. See, now if you miss left over there, you've got bunkers in your way and you can't run the ball into the green from the left, so being down the right here, it's okay. Really short drive though. Got 132 to a back flag. Um, I'm not gonna push me luck, I'm just gonna hit the 9-9 to the middle of the green. Sixty-six back into the breeze. Flag is just on the right edge of that little house down there. I call it a house. It's actually a, a tumble-down wreck. But uh, five iron. Let's see if I can actually find the back of the ball with the face. Well, I hit it, it's gone right to the back of the green, so I got a long putt back. Now that is the big difference of coming to somewhere that's rather special and rather nice. The greens are superb, you hold putts. Matt, you'd absolutely love this. If you drop in the UK, I'll bring you here, mate. Can't afford your green fee. After all, you're the one who's making the money on YouTube, not me. But I'll bring you here and other places like here. Right, I got one, three, six down the wind, so I'm taking the nine iron. The tee box is actually, the ladies is just here, so we're about 20 yards forward. Um, there's a bunker left, there's a drop off to the right, and there's a nice pretty pond if you go long.
supposed to be watching the golf, not looking at the mansion. Right, fifth hole, par five. It's 476. If I was fit, I could get there in two. Today I'm not fit and it's into the breeze. So uh, it's going to be a three shotter because there's an enormous hollow just in front of the green that you've got to get over. Now I can do that in two normally, but today, not a chance. doesn't help if you hit the tree up here either. I got 260. Now I don't want to go in the hollow. I'm going to guess at a six iron. I got to keep the ball out to the right. If I go left, I've got no shot. Not the best hit in the world, but it's out there. So, uh, should have an interesting shot. The th this green is exceptionally difficult to putt on. So I really need to give myself an uphill putt. Otherwise, uh, it's three jab time. Well, I made a big zero of that, didn't it? I haven't been here for a while, so um, there's a bit of a guess from under that tree. If I'd known I was gonna finish here with the six iron, I'd have tried the rescue. Anyway, I got 95, so I'm going with a 50 degree. You're going to lose your balance on a downslope. You might as well intentionally lose your balance and control it rather than trying to stay upright. Anyway, we're on the dance floor. We got a chance. I've just passed uh, either a bee's nest or a swarm of bees hanging from one of the trees over here behind me. So should I stop and uh, record that for you? Uh, no, I think I'll keep going. Anyway, about 18 feet for a bird. I'm surprised at how well I'm doing, but the greens aren't their normal speed today. You know, we've had a week of rain and it's taken the heat out of the greens. So uh, if you come here in a dry spell, they're quick. I mean, they're proper quick. Let's see what I can do with this. Not far off. I tell you what, everywhere you look around here, the views are outstanding. You can't hear any traffic at all either. I mean, there is a lane that goes down the side of these holes, but there's very rarely a car on them. All right, number six, it's stroke index two. I seem to remember it being stroke one. I think they've reversed the stroke indexes on the nines. This is all the way uphill, back into the breeze. It's 400 yards. I need a long straight drive. Something I don't have in the bag today, but uh, we'll give it a try. I've looked back at all the rounds I've played around here, and I can only recall parring this once, so uh, it's a tough one.
Yeah, I haven't even got to the top of the hill. And the time that I parred it, I got over the hill, down the other side, and uh, had a relatively short iron in. I'm gonna have a long club in today. I didn't do too badly. I'm only about 20 yards short of the top of the rise. And I say the only par I made was when I got down the other side. I got 178 to a front flag. There's a big bunker on the right that's gotta be avoided. Uphill slope, ball below my feet, into the breeze. <laughs> Everything's against me, but uh, I'm gonna try the hybrid, close the face down a bit and try avoid losing the ball to the right. That line probably didn't look very good on Shot Tracer. It's a par five, about 510. I can reach it in two, because it's downwind and downhill. Don't think I will today with the injury. There's a dirty great big tree in the middle of the fairway. I went to the right of that with that cut. And uh, what's the best way of describing this hole? This, this hole's a real conundrum. It's on so many different levels. A lot of water, high banks, a lower fairway, more water to get over to get to the green. You've got to be very careful here. It's definitely a three-shotter, but if you can hit a long one, then it can be a two-shotter. And uh, because the tee's set a long way back, take two balls with you as well but it's a lovely hole once you know what the line is off the tee which is at that big oak tree down there then it becomes a little easier but I don't know what my second shot's going to be until I get down there that was a little bit weak but it was the right direction so here's the oak in the middle of the fairway and I went to the right of it you might be able to see it my ball is down there and if you go left, then you go over this brow, and steeply down, and you're in a pickle. Green is just visible there. Huge lake all the way down there, and then there's a ditch running across in front of the green. We've come from over the top of this mound of grass up there. So there's the green, got a ditch across here, and we got this lake down the left hand side. Down the right we got that steep, steep bank, and then a steep bank here, and back up to the oak tree. So now you see what you're doing. Now if I hit a proper drive, my ball runs out here to the top of the ridge, and that leaves me about a four iron in. And uh, with the ditch being about 30 yards back from the flag, I always go for it.
Right, this is the next of Greg's favourite par threes, and he's not wrong. There's a bunker down the left here that's deep enough to uh, park a couple of cars in and you wouldn't see the roof. Big tree on the right, so you can't bail right. If you're short, then you run down hard left. And it looks like a number of trees have gone on the left, probably to get some daylight onto the green. I'll just zap it and see how long it's playing. The flag is way at the back, way at the back. peculiar at the moment because in the back of my mind I know that I should be afraid of these greens but because of all the rain we've had they're not fiery at all and the chances of a free putt are, are a lot slimmer than normal yeah these uh, you wouldn't normally have that view across there because it was, it was filled up with trees but uh, I suppose if it gets more daylight onto this green that's a good thing Ninth hole. Boy, the time has gone fast, hasn't it? I think it's because i got a golf cart and uh, I'm out first, so I'm not waiting on anyone. In fact, and there's no one behind me. That's why I can stand here and talk today instead of voiceover. Number nine's an interesting hole. Do you remember where the flag was? Front right. That's going to be tough to get at. Not a bad hit, all things considered, but uh, the second shot is um, going to be fun. Right, so if you come and play here, stick your ball out left, not down the right. I've got 48 yards, I've got this tight flag. I can't get anywhere near it. What I've got to make sure of is that I get up there and up onto the green and then hopefully two putt. It was on, but not for long. If I get this wrong, that could be an instant replay. Well, you're not going to get all the way around here without these greens biting you a little bit. Wish I could have had that sand wedge shot again and thrown it well at the green. Silly boy. Anyway, a bit of a drive now to the 10th tee. And I'll see you in part two. I think I'm two over, which we shouldn't be bad considering the injury. But then the greens are uh, 
a bit easier than they normally are. Cheerio!